the Brazilian who nutted in his Dreamcast. Bro, is this TOS? Like many of Sega's console endeavors, the Dreamcast was a system well ahead of its time. It was the first console released of the 6th gen systems, beating PlayStation 2 and GameCube to market by years. It introduced the world to legendary titles like Shenmue, Jet Set Radio, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Seaman, among others. And perhaps most importantly, it was the first home console that was internet ready right out of the box. A ton was put into promoting its online play. Such as a campaign with Limp Bizkit including ads telling you to look out for Fred Durst, who according to crazy ass moments in new metal history, was said to be really good at Quake 3. Also Fred Durst's autographed Dreamcast and go for a decent amount of money. Such an amazing console, doesn't it get you excited? Maybe a little too excited? Well it definitely did for one boy in Brazil. So for this episode of Tales from the Internet, let's talk about what I'm told is one of the most legendary internet stories to come out of Brazil. The boy who nutted it inside of his brand new Sega Dreamcast. Ladies and gentlemen, brand new of all ages, <clears throat> we're going back to Brazil. This is such a long ass intro. Like this man was really trying to hit the 11 minute mark. This is so long. My YouTube's figure. My God, that shit was like a whole 10 seconds. Is officially for sale right now on YouTube's.com. I designed the figure with it as the whole internet and all of its famous stories like Swamps to Dagobah, Vagina Bacon, Hello My Future Girlfriend. But for every language there is, there's internet stories that are just as infamous as any of those that we rarely if ever get to hear about. So my curiosity was piqued when a Brazilian viewer, Gustavo Costa, told me the story of the Brazilian Cum Dreamcast. Supposedly one of the Brazilian internet's most infamous stories. And when I spoke about this on stream, a number of Brazilian viewers corroborated that yeah, everyone knows this story. So here we go, the story of a boy from Brazil named Leonam. And note that I have two different translations of the story that I'm working with here. They're different from each other in ways that are very subtle, but in some cases kind of important. I'm piecing it together to the best of my ability, but if I get something wrong with it, definitely let me know. This is a Shout out to the OST in the background. What is that shit? Um, Super Mario Sunshine, the, the hotel. I love that shit. Originally posted in 2004 to forumsbr.hypermart.net. The original posts aren't on the Internet Archive, unfortunately, however, they've all been compiled together in a text document. The collection of posts begins with a disclaimer. Attention, this message has a little adult content. It is not recommended for females, virtual your eyes ladies, or boys under the age of 11 who are likely does not have the knowledge required to understand the subject of the text. What's great about that is the boy in the story is 13. So it's like, yo, us 13 year olds, we're grown enough to uh, talk about these kinds of things. You 11 year olds though, you're gonna have to wait till you're grown ups like us 13 year olds. It's the funniest text of my life. The worst thing is that Leonan is real, really. You'll see. The 13 year old boy Leonan had received a Sega Dreamcast for his birthday. This was not even a month prior. And as he had said, he had done everything possible to get his parents to buy this for him. Then one day, he's playing a pirated version of Crazy Taxi. Finishes up, takes out Crazy Taxi, so he can replace it with the boot CD you need to play pirated games. But with the lid still open, suddenly everyone else goes out. He has the home all to himself, and so he gets an idea. Now is his chance. He's gonna go look at some naked ladies on the computer and rub one out. Bro, but he's 13. So he's standing in front of his computer looking at a website that he found on these very forums. He's doing his thing and he gets to the point where he can no longer contain himself. He doesn't want to get anything on his monitor or his keyboard though that are right in front of him. <clears throat> so he quickly turns to the left. Unfortunately for Leonin, what is to the left of him is his still open Sega Dreamcast, which he promptly nuts inside of. At this point, he doesn't know whether to laugh or cry. He cleans it up to the best of his ability, but that dry residue is just too much for that poor laser lens. That shit's not working. Ah, uh, he got it. I was just about to say, bro, he can nut on that shit all he wants. As long as he doesn't hit that little ass fucking laser lens. And that's the first thing he said he hit. If he hit the laser lens, you're done. You're done. Anymore. So cry it is. Desperate for solutions, Leonin goes to the forum to see if anyone has any ideas about what he can do. 
My mother is going to kill me when she finds out that paid 750 reals and I already broke it. It is on warranty, but how will I tell the men on the store? How will I clean the lens now? Help me please. I will never masturbate again in my life. Unfortunately, since the original thread is an archive, we can't see people's responses. I imagine it was mostly just people laughing their asses off at him though. The next day, Leona makes another thread. He rushes back home to check up on his Dreamcast. However, as soon as he gets through that door, his mother's already waiting for him with the Dreamcast on the couch, looking like what he describes as a general. She looks like she wants to kill him. He's sweating bullets at this point, and the first thing she says, Leonum, what did you drop in this video game? He asks her why, and she mentions that she brought it to the store, and when the guy opened it up, there was a white area of something. Something was spilled in there, which is not covered by the warranty, so he was shit out of luck. And the mother wanted explanations for why the expensive system they had just gotten him for his birthday is already broken. And she also wanted explanations for why it smells like cheese. Actually, knowing what the mother didn't know, I also want explanations for why it smells like cheese. Like, what the fuck are they feeding this kid? His legs are shaking and he doesn't have any answers for it, so he runs back to his room and locks himself in. And from his room, he calls up Tech Toy. Tech Toy being the company that distributes Sega consoles in Brazil, even having some Brazil exclusive releases like a wide variety of special master systems. Leonin begins by assuring the Tech Toy representative that this is not a prank call, and he proceeds to tell about how he nutted it inside of his Dreamcast. Of course, the Tech Toy representative dies laughing, and when he finally catches his breath, he tells him to not try to clean the lens himself, but to just take it back to the store. Which, of course, as we've learned, is not really an option, so Leonin is fucked. Also, he thinks at this point his parents figured out what really happened. His reason for this being that he's sure his mother knows what cum smells like. Because on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, his parents bone all night. At this point, he's also considering just admitting the truth to his father, and he also laments that he didn't have a younger brother to blame this on. He finishes by asking if maybe he should try to clean the lens with alcohol or water or anything else no. they suggest. There are a few suggestions and a little bit of ribbing, which takes us to the third post. He begins by thanking two forum users, Eric and Francisco, for helping him, then goes on to make a confession. Okay, as you are being nice with me, I got to confess something. I broke my promise. It is stronger than me. I did one when I was locked in my room. Sorry. This time I aimed right and I didn't hit anything. He also mentions that the tech toy guy suggested trying to use one of those disc cleaner things. If you're unfamiliar, they're those discs that have those little brushes on them. When you run the console, it brushes away the dust and whatever particles. I've never I've seen never that. I've never found them to be particularly useful. And you're probably not surprised to hear that this did not clean up the dried cum. He also addresses a forum user named Lestat. Lestat mocked his poor jizz control and acted this was his first time. Leonin responded that this was not his first time. In fact, it was his fifth time. He also addresses people who are asking if they can come to his neighborhood and see if they can take a look at it. Which, thankfully, he realized that this was a really bad idea, so he's not doing that. He was also worried about some guy who was making a website documenting the whole thing. He also makes a reference that I'm not quite sure about. I told my colleagues what is happening to me, and my class has even given me the nickname Gonzaginia. You know why? That accordionist. So I'm not familiar with Gonzaginia, so I looked him up. And it turns out he died suddenly and tragically after being hit by a truck which, you know, might be applicable to the impending dread of this situation. But, a, but Gonzaginia wasn't known for playing accordion, his father Luis Gonzaga was. I'm not sure if he got the guys mixed up or what. Because maybe the joke wasn't about the sudden death, but rather how it looks to play the accordion. Although, I don't know who, like, jerks off <laughs> like they're playing an accordion. <laughs> Ultimately, now he's looking for help not just with the Dreamcast, but how to deal with his parents. I have to delete my computer's history because she checks everything. So it's thought if she enters this site and discovers everything. Bro, but... Wait, but this story makes no sense. Brazil? Wait, Brazil, Sega Dreamcast? What era of gaming was this? Wasn't the internet not that strong around at that time? But Dreamcast era? Did he buy a Dreamcast in the future? Or was this when the Dreamcast just came out? It depends. Like 2001. Bro, but the internet at that time was still not widely accessible, if that makes any sense. You still had to have, like, dial-up and all types of crazy shit. 
the fact that he's 13 years old at that time frame and he knew how to surf the web and do all this other shit and then go into freaking forums and talk. Tech Toy released Dreamcast on Brazil around 2008. Okay. Okay, that's different. That's different. Because I was... Because this shit was making it sound like it was like the 90s or like early 2000s. Because I was like, there's no way. What a shame and what a shit that I'm going to take. You may even think I'm childish, but I'm only 13 years old. I'm figuring things out now. It is by making mistakes that you learn. Do you think I was going to do this soon on my Dreamcast? Help is just what I need. Then we get to the fourth and final post. Guys, finally my terror came to an end. Thank God. I didn't get caught, but it was much worse, I swear. Believing that his parents would eventually figure out what really happened, he takes his father aside. I said, Dad, for the love of God, you swear if I tell you something you won't say to anybody. He said, okay. I believed. So I closed my eyes and told him, it was me who broke the video game. Imagine just, like, the way he's describing the scenario. You telling me this motherfucker walked up to his dad and said, Dad, you promise you're not going to tell anyone anything? No. <laughs> I started playing my Dreamcast and I nutted all over my console. Like, what? So I closed my eyes and told him. Damn. But it wasn't on purpose. I cummed on it. He laughed. Laughed, laughed, laughed till he cried. Then I said, I didn't mean it to happen. I'm really embarrassed right now, but that's how it happened. His father scolded him a bit for visiting porn sites, but then he told him he had a way to fix everything. And then finally, after this going on for days, Leona could finally breathe a sigh of relief. He's sitting on bed, playing his Game Boy, then his mother walks in. Big smile on her face with his father in hand. And she says, Leo, me and your father have something we have to talk to you about. You are turning into a grown boy. My ears started to get red. You are not a little kid anymore. Your body will have changes, your voice will change. You are turning into a little teen. They didn't already told me the same thing on school. My mother said, when you want to do that, go to the bath so you won't get things dirty. And after you've done it, wash your hands so you won't get things dirty with it. You can imagine how I am right now. But it doesn't end there. Aww. She calls all six of his aunts to let them know that their little boy is all grown up and jerking it. Oh my God, bro. She called the relatives. Oh my God! You won't you you won't imagine what Zazu's doing. Oh, how Zazu been? He's tur he's thirteen right now, right? Hear this. He beat his meat and skeeted all over the Dreamcast. He is such a big boy. I told him to just do it in the shower. Yeah, yeah. He's nutting all over the shower right now as we speak. She also tells his grandmother as well as the girl who works at the house who he notes is hot. Afterwards, he gets a phone call from his grandmother telling him that he has no morals and he has to stop this immediately or he's going to burn in hell. And he notes that his family likes to gossip a lot, so by now all of his cousins definitely know, so he's not looking forward to seeing them again. Ultimately, his father takes the Dreamcast to the store to get repaired. They're charging 450 reals for just the lens. That's without labor costs. So for that price, Leon considers just simply importing a Japanese Dreamcast. He says that's probably better anyway. Leonin, who is now traumatized by masturbation forever, leaves with these words of wisdom. To all people on this forum who tried to help me, thank you. Do not masturbate close to video games. May break. This had to be in the manual of the device. Thanks, friend. This had to be in the manual of the device. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. That's like, that's like me about to nut and I'm going to aim at my CPU's power supply. Shut up. Oh, that should have been in the instruction manual to not nut on the power supply of my PC. Friends. That's the story Till of the Brazilian cum family bringing up the Like this video, family check reunions. out my video about the Reddit cum box. I'm out. That's disgusting. There's a Reddit cum box? Ew, I don't even want to know about that. That sounds nasty.